In this video, I'll show you CapCut, an AI video builder that I tested. I have never used this AI video builder before, just like the others I tested in this series. You'll see how quickly someone with no experience can create a video using these tools. Like all other AI video builder services I tested, CapCut offers a free account option. With a free account, some features are locked, but unlike the other services I tested, the final video can be saved without a watermark or any other restrictions. You can't make many videos with the free account, but it's enough to test the service and decide if you want to get a premium package. I tested a total of four AI video builders. The results and final videos are included in the next video, where I also provide a final rating, indicating which of these four services performed the best. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and like our channel. Also, if you want to support our work, check out the discount links in the description of this video. For the purpose of this test, I tried to make a short video for YouTube or TikTok, possibly for Instagram. It's a promo video for Wix. I believe everyone knows what Wix is. If not, you have a link to our video about Wix in the top right corner. In short, it is a web service for quick, simple, and free website creation. My first step was to create a script that I would use for these AI video builders. Some of these sites have a script writing option, but I decided to use ChatGPT as it seemed easier and faster. I won't burden you too much with this step. In short, ChatGPT wrote the script in about 10 minutes. If you're interested in more about ChatGPT, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video about how to use this tool to create scripts. The first step is to create an account on their site. Click on sign up for free and follow the steps. I linked my Gmail account to speed up the process. Once the account is created, you can change your account name on the first screen if you don't like the default name assigned by the system. After choosing a name, the system will want to know roughly what type of video content you'll be creating. After answering a few short questions, you can start making your video. On the left side, there is a small menu where you can do most of what you need. You can choose a template, see projects you've started under recent drafts, or share what you've created with someone. There is also a magic tools option, but I won't cover that now. I chose script to video since I already had a script ready. When you click that button, a new page opens with a tutorial video related to this option. I really like this feature. The tutorial is short and clear. It's worth watching. Next, you need to paste your script. Below that, you can choose the video size, format, and the voiceover for your video. Then click Generate. You get two options. Smart Generate, which automatically finds suitable videos and images for your script, and Custom, where you do this manually. I logically chose Smart Generate because I'm looking for an AI tool that does exactly that, analyzing the script and selecting the best videos and images for it. Generating the video doesn't take long, which reflects the quality of the final video. As with every tool of this kind, you can edit your video. When you click Edit Video, you enter a video editor, which is much more thorough than other AI video builders. I must commend CapCut. This is one of the better online video editors and very easy to use. As you can see on the left side, there is a menu where you can choose to upload your own images or videos, edit sound, text, add special effects or transitions. It really has a lot of options. If you're interested in the final video I got using this service, check out the final video linked in the top right corner and in the description. In it, I included all the final versions of the videos from each AI video builder service I tested. There you will also find my final evaluation of all these services. And of course, like and subscribe to our channel if you liked what you saw today. I hope to see you again in another test.